Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby, for the weekend. So, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my earth gods. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Let's see what's going down for the weekend. So, my loves, let's see what's going down. I'm going to start out with my Capricorns. We're going to get the overall energies for you with these uh, believe in your own motherfucking magic and shit. So, here we go. Capricorns. Let's see what's up. My goat gods, it says, lioness, you've earned your stripes. Uh-oh. Somebody's feeling good in the skin that they're in. And I love it, Capricorns. Let's see what the romance angels have to say in love and for my singles. Now, if you earned your stripes, you know you done done your research, your history, you done been through the fire before. So now, I feel it's definitely time that some of you guys are back on the prowl. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see what's up with the romance angels have to say. Here we go. It says Decepticon. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So somebody's being faked in a motherfucker. It could be if they're at a distance from you. You got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world or it could be time for you and your partner to move around. Okay. Get some space and some energy and some time alone with this chemistry here. So let's see what's up between you and your partner. Very first card coming out is the Princess of Wands. So there could be some good news. Someone could be receiving some sort of letter, a message that could be coming to you as well. This could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a fire sign. But I'm seeing that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be some loyalty that's going to be tested here with this Knight of Pentacles or somebody is being tested. You also have the Queen of Pentacles. It could be with finances, but I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. Definitely a lot of sharp energy that's going towards either a couple or somebody that's uh, at a distance from each other or you guys are distant. Now, Lover's Energy here, also Page of Pentacles and the Sun. So there's something or some sort of connection that's getting ready to happen within the chemistry. I feel some of you guys are going to see a lot of peace, okay, between you and your partner. This could be you seeing how the connection is working, all right? It's definitely what I'm getting now. This is definitely peace for the weekend, straight up. You got the strength energy here, definitely a lot of Leo energy that's coming out for you Capricorns. So I feel like this is either confidence or this is you who's ready to take on something new. You have the world energy here, so there's a blend that's getting ready to come together, or something is getting ready to open up. You also have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you guys know that there are some changes that are getting ready to take place. Just be careful with that. Let's see about my singles. Capricorns. You have the Empress and also the Ten of Cups. Some of you guys are just disinterested in making family settings work. You feel like you've been pushed away or there's a lot of you guys that feel like there's a situation you just want to move around from. you got the Three of Pentacles here as well. So it could be with uh, somebody you're willing to work with new or there is someone new in your energy that's coming towards you with the Three of Pentacles. That's could be somebody wanting to work with you. I don't know. I'm just saying you got the Eight of Pentacles here as well. So it could be focused on work or your coin. So let's see what's going down with my Taurus for the weekend. We're going to get the overall energies for you guys with these. Believe in your own magic. So Taurus, here we go. We have Potion. Who else got this? 
Uh, I believe that was Libra. But it also says slow down and celebrate yourself. You guys could be around some food. Okay. You also might be isolating yourself as well. But I'm seeing a lot of you guys are, she got all the fruits and shit and cups spilled and everything. Might be a lot of sloppy things going on and some of you guys might be cleaning up. But it's saying to definitely don't be afraid to be yourself. All right. Now, Romance Angels taught us for the weekend. We have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and you deserve love you are lovable so Taurus, there could be somebody who needs to come in your energy and bring the love give you some kisses give you some hugs some romance okay now you also have flirts okay this is somebody who's like <laughs> Taurus, you also have express your love so get that shit off your chest do what the fuck you want to do in this lifetime flirt how you want to okay tell somebody you like their shoes or you like the way that they smell okay because i do see that somebody smelling a little something off the shoulders baby now let's see what's up for those of you all that are in love taught and here we go ace of pentacles here eight of swords somebody's really in their head you need to have a conversation with your people. Okay, or there is something that's going down that you feel anxious about. But there's a new start with this Ace of Pentacles coming out off top. Also, Six of Wands here. So there is some success. Okay, that somebody's going to give you like this power up or you're going to get this gain up is what I'm seeing with the Six of Wands in your relationship. Either with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or I'm also getting a Aquarian, Gemini, or a Libra. But... There might be some healing that needs to happen or take place first. Like I said, speaking up about it, having a conversation. You might be shown some light between you and your partnership, especially things that might have happened in the past, okay, or past experiences. So definitely um, a new beginning here with this Ace of Pentacles and the Fool. So I feel a lot of you guys are just ready for whatever happens or there is something that is spontaneously going to happen okay between you and your partner and it's going to prove to you or see if you want to communicate with that person or if you're ready to deal with the sporadic type of energy that they have um or if it's you know something that you're confident about so capricorns i mean um tortens you guys could be dealing with a leo also uh scorpio here and Eddie's Gemini and Virgo with this magician could be a lot of manipulation that's going down towards so just be careful with that somebody needs to start over now singles I'm getting you guys are all about your money with this queen of pentacles ace of wands here in reverse somebody's not really interested or there could be a lot of truths that come out come out about how you're wanting to move forward and move ahead okay it could be with the Cancerian as well but I see that some of you guys are very bored and you just might just be feeling like you're wasting time and you need to keep your options open with the Seven of Cups here. So this is definitely getting out on dating websites or keeping your options open with others you feel could be suitable. All right. But I do feel if you're still sitting in your hurt or if there is somebody who is hurting in the situation, give it a little bit of time to work on yourself. All right. So let's see what's popping with my bed goes. Here we go. To my Virgos over the weekend. We have morning. The world awaits you. So there's something new that's coming about in the world. For some of you guys over the weekend, it could be just how you're starting your day or how you're getting up and waking yourself up. It might be some new shit around you that's getting ready to take place. Virgos. Let's see what's popping. I'm going to get my Romance Angels. Here we go. For the weekend, Virgos in love. We have healing family issues. You forget your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's something here that's taking place. Somebody is healing up in this mother buggy. You could be taking some time to get away. This could be what morning is all about. It's getting some rest. But it also could be time for you and your partner to disconnect from the world. 
take a retreat, okay? Go do your own thing as well. All right, so express your love. Go ahead and rom make that romantic gesture. You could be also experiencing some romantic feelings by the end of the weekend as well, Virgo. So let's see what's up in love. But there's a breaking of a new day. That's what I'm getting from that morning card. Virgos in love for the weekend. Here we go. All right. So, yeah, here's that family issues, healing family issues. Ten of cups in reverse. Also, emperor here and five of swords. So, yeah, somebody is definitely healing from a situation. It might be time to have a getaway. This could be dealing with your mom, your father, things of that nature. Definitely something that's very connected to you. Okay. I also feel like some of you guys might be analyzing your DNA or some sort of DNA. But I'm definitely picking up in your love life. There is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that could be, um, you know, making things very frustrating. But with the star energy here, I'm seeing that there's a lot of healing coming through. Some of y'all might be taking some spiritual baths, washing the titties out. You know what I'm talking about? But I also feel like for some of you Virgos, it's time for something new with that 10 of cups here so this is you healing yourself you're no longer sitting in the same energy or you or your partner is staying in the same energy nine of pentacles you know what is toxic and what you need to be focused on independently this also could be uh, finances as well but i'm seeing you're going to be getting some good news ace of pentacles here this could be some changes that are happening financially with the ace of pentacles and also with the news that you'll be receiving some of you guys might be very worried but i'm getting with the cancer pisces scorpio they're going to give you some good guidance especially if you're in a relationship now this is romantic offers that's coming towards you as well i'm getting with the will of fortune time is definitely changing or things are changing for this person to come to you or to be directed into your direction so page of pentacles here also strength energy in reverse and eight of eight of wands so there's somebody who's willing to come in and communicate or there's some communication of somebody who's coming in all right here we go so for my single virgos for the weekend you got the ace of cups here and also the sun energy six of cups at the bottom of the deck so there could be some things in the past that you're healing towards i'm seeing some of you guys just wanting peace all together or there is a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, or this could be in your sun, moon, your sun, moon, or rising, whatever the case may be. You got the Ace of Pentacles here and the Six of Cups. Somebody's stuck in the past and they're trying to get over it. But I also feel like with the Four of Pentacles here, you're, you're still holding on. But you're going to be shown some light. It could be about a Cancer, cancer Pisces Scorpio or somebody new that's coming into your energy for sure. All right, my loves, I'm going to get on out of here. Make sure you check out my four questions for $25 in the description box down below. I love you guys oh so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace.